Players, I remember just, just about remember what it feels like to be 10 years old. And I remember specifically not being able to envisage what the future holds. But I'll tell you, I know that you're all fantastic players. So one of the things that the future holds for your tennis is that you will have lots of opportunities to dominate, control the point from the middle of the court using the outsides of the court. You'll see that with some of the players you like on the TV. They'll serve and then they'll just move the opponent side to side and keep them on, on one side as well. So that's what we're going to work on. So you can grab any partner for the first drill, but the three words we're going to use consistently are play, which is my favorite word, which means go play. Stop, which means stop, we're going to move on to something else, or I might occasionally say pause. Pause means to stay where you are, listen to the next challenge, and then play again. Yeah? So you'll need somebody to play with, and what you're going to do, let's imagine, Murray, who are you going to play with to start with? Shot, Murray. You're going to pick Lucas, right? So Murray, you're going to be here, and what you're going to be doing is trying to see how many times you can hit the ball on the outside bits of the service box. Yeah? Lucas, you have the job of hitting everything back down the middle. Right? So it might feel like you've got the raw end of the deal, but you'll get a shot as well. So Becky, you're going to come here, and you're going to be moving the plate. So you're going to be the one hitting up the middle, and Rosa, you're going to be down that side, and you're going to be hitting either side. Right? So Rosa, you pop down there. You're going to go for one minute, starting from when I say play. Right. So all we're looking at is to see can they hit the ball side to side within the service box. So we've got Murray trying to move it side to side and we've got Rosa trying to move it side to side. Very good. All the while what I'm doing is seeing if they respect the principles that we put up on the screen. You have 30 seconds left. Six out of ten. Rosa, what do you think about Becky? How much did you get her moving? Eight? So you got her moving well. I want to just see, we're going to do it for 30 seconds more, just to see if this one suggestion makes a difference. The suggestion is, I want you to imagine that Lucas has got a heart rate monitor on and a pedometer, do you know what that is, like the counts of steps. So you've got a heart rate monitor and a stepometer, if you like. Becky's got a heart rate monitor and a stepometer. Your job, Murray and Rosa, is to make that player take as many steps as possible and get the heart rate going as much as possible. Okay? Ready? We'll do it for 30 seconds. And play. All right, let's look at the steps. Make them take lots of steps. Very good, he's moving to the side. Keep it in the boxes. Yeah. You're going up the middle, Becky. Yeah, very good. Nice. Yes. Very good. Get them taking lots of steps. That's good. You got them going there, buddy. Keep them on the run. Once you get them on the run, three, two, one, and time. Right, did it make any difference when you're thinking about how many steps you take? Rosa, what do you think? Did it make a difference? Not a little bit more for you? Yep. So coaches, I would always try and encourage some like a, a rule, if you like, or an image in my mind to try and get the players to do it differently before I would start to intervene. Yep. So if I did it again and I didn't notice any difference, I might then give them a little tip, but I just wanted to imagine Imagine in a match, you're running your opponent side to side, the heart rate is bursting, they're taking lots of steps, they're struggling to recover and so on. So I always go with that first before I give them a little tip. So, it's only fair that we do 30 seconds for Becky, 
and Lucas, you're trying to run Murray and Rosa around. Right? 30 seconds and off you go. Okay, so Rosa's hitting up the middle. Becky, you're hitting side to side. That's good. Try and keep it in the box. Yes, Lucas. Get on the other side. Oh, hey, that's good. Go. Get on the other side while he's out there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good. And pause. Right, so here's a little tip for you. Do you know that the ball will go where your strings point? Most people know that. Here's the tip. I want you to use your body to direct the ball. So if imagine if you were a tank, and this is the what's it called? Gun barrel of a tank. If I wanted to aim over there, I would turn my body to there. Turn my body to there. I wouldn't just turn the gun barrel. So if I'm hitting, so can you hit the ball to me, Rosa? So if I'm hitting to your backhand, I turn my body around the ball so it goes over there. Yeah. If it comes to here, I use my body to direct the ball into that space. I want you to try and use just your forehand to move them side to side. Right? So we'll go uh, change around one space, so Becky you'll be here, and what you're going to be doing, Murray you'll be down there, Lucas you'll be over here. Becky you're going to be trying to make Murray run, and Lucas you're going to be trying to make Rosa run. We'll go 30 seconds, but I say change, you just change it round. So use your body to direct the ball. Off you go, play. Yep. Keep it inside the box. Use the body. Right there. You can keep it up the middle, buddy. You can keep it up the middle, buddy. It's Becky making you run. That's nice. That's a great mistake. You used your body a bit too much there. Yeah, use your body. It feels safe. That's it, good Lucas, that's right. So coaches, I'm deliberately praising a good mistake. If I can see Lucas really used his body to direct the ball, it goes in the trap lines, happy days. He's tried it too much. And change it round. So now, Murray, you move. Becky and Rosa, you move Lucas. So just stay where you are. So just change to the other job. Right, so we've got Murray using his body. We've got Rosa using her body. Support the direction with your body. Support the direction with your body. Very good. Good. In the boxes. Yeah. Nice. Another 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and pause. Last tip, you're both going to move each other. So it's not one hitting up the middle, you're both going to move each other. I want to see if you have the ability to focus on your back knee turning your body. Right. So what I mean by that is the back knee turns, and if my back knee turns, what happens to my hips? They turn. If my hips turn, what happens to my body? It turns. So I want you to think about, if I try to worry here, that I turn my back knee, I, I, I turn my back knee to turn the body. I turn my back knee to turn the body. I turn, oh, I'm going to go around here. So I'm going to look for my forehand and I'm going to turn my back knee. I, Right, so I'm using that knee to feel like I turn the body, but you can both now move each other. Okay, try it out. So that would be an example of like a simple mechanical tip that if they fire the knee before the hit, they fire the knee, they fire the hip, they fire the shoulder. So that would be a reference point as coaches and groups we could use consistently, and we can also use it for later if we're adapting. Turn the knee before the hit. Keep it in the boxes, and then we're going to go full court in a second. I'm going to 
ask you a question in 10 seconds time. Turn the knee. And pause. Right, so my question is, players, when was it difficult for you to turn your knee? What shot did your opponent give you where you felt that it was difficult for you to turn your knee before you hit the ball? The deep one. Anyone else? Deep as well? Any other shot? Or about wide? Yeah, if they're wide, it's hard for you to turn the knee. So can you see if you were playing a match and you know that your opponent wants to turn the knee, to turn the hip, to turn the shoulder, to swing the arm, that if you put them in difficult positions, out wide, or maybe deep as well, that that makes it hard for them to hurt you. Yeah, so that's it. we're going to use that as we